Hey, what's up? My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel. So if you want to uh, see more details, check link in the description and link in the corner. So uh, this tutorial uh, will be about uh, physical force. We are going to add physical force to our explosives. As you can see, we already made a simple platformer here. If you want to see how we get this point, uh, check link in the corner to watch uh, previous uh, tutorials. So we added uh, bombs in the scene and uh, as we get close to the bombs, they will be triggered and activated and uh, after two seconds they explode. As you can see, uh, they don't affect us uh, in any physical manner. So we also can throw bombs, but uh, when they explode, nothing happens so i want to add a physical force to explosion to uh, make them affect uh, other objects and the player itself so let's start here um, we have a bomb prefab uh, i will open the prefab here and uh, as you remember if you watched the previous videos you will Remember, we have an explosion uh, node here. Uh, after two seconds of animation, explosion node will be activated and uh, it triggers uh, two particle systems here. Actually, particles are uh, play on load mode. So when we activated them, they will be uh, playing the animation. Uh, in this explosion node, I will add a physical force node. Actually, we can call this explosion force here. Uh, I want to make this node uh, affect everything in a circular area. So let's add a physics component circle collider here. It automatically adds the rigid body before it. So this is the circle collider and let's adjust the size of the circle. This is gonna be the effect area of the explosion force. So I stop editing and I make this sensor, uh, this collider to sensor because we don't want to get any physical reactions when we touch the edge of the collider and want to density very low value because I don't want to uh, take uh, it into account as a, a physical calculations it should be just a sensor object not affecting uh, any physical object uh, then we need to enable contact listener here because otherwise we cannot get any collision uh, event and we can make this static because this will be uh, visible for maybe a few uh, frames and uh, the position of it uh, is uh, okay to be static. So this is gonna be static, uh, density will be very low and this is gonna be sensor. So this circular collider will be enough to uh, trigger our uh, explosion force, actually uh, calculate our explosion. So let's add another script to script folder and name it to explosion force let's drag and drop this script here explosion force and edit this script okay Um, in Cocos, we have a contact listener, as we practiced in a previous video also. Uh, this will be triggered on any object collided with this uh, circular collider. Okay, so this is sensor and enabled contact listener enabled. And this will trigger uh, on on begin contact collision on each collision begins in this node okay so here we go what we want to do is uh, apply force to other collider okay so if 
other collider nuts body type first I want to filter the static objects because I don't want to make any vector calculation for static objects which will not be affected by any physical force so other objects body tip uh, if it's dynamic rigid body and we also don't want to affect itself the bomb should affect other uh, items but not itself uh, so we have to define this dot bomb root yeah we are gonna define the bomb root here so remember we have the uh, force node here and we have the bomb root for uh, uh, bomb root root node is here so we don't want to affect this uh, node so we're gonna make a link here let's make it bomb root dot cc node this is gonna define our bomb roots okay go to bomb explosion force and you can see the bomb root uh, property here we're gonna drag and drop the bomb root node here so we can filter it out during collision um, let's edit here like this other collider dot node not equals this dot bomb root if this is a dynamic object and uh, this this is other than uh, self bomb root we're gonna apply force okay so uh, we need to make a small vector mathematic here um, we we are gonna get other nodes position other position equals other collider that node that gets position okay we are going to get uh, other colliders nodes position so we can calculate self dot self pose equals this dot bomb root dot get position so you i think you're curious about why i use i use the bomb root because if we call get position uh, this will uh, give us the local position of the node let's take a look to the scene here is explosion force if we call this dot node dot get position it will give us 0, 0.0 okay because we are in the this explosion uh, node and we are in this bomb node so actually in the scene let's check the scene this is the bomb actually you can see bomb root node is here and its position is changing when I move it but explosion itself is at 0.0, .0 because uh, we are getting the local position so we need to get bomb roots local position to uh, get the correct position okay let's move forward now we need to calculate the force vector force vector equals other position that sub self position this will uh, subtract two vectors and get the difference as force vector other uh, subtract uh, other vector from self uh, vector self position okay so this uh, vector will be uh, varying uh, based on the position uh, distances okay so we we need to normalize this first normalize self will normalize this vector and make its length one unit so now 
force vector dot multiply self maybe two hundred thousands. Okay. Then other collider dot body which gives us the rigid body of the collider rigid um, body okay apply force to center force sorry force vector okay so here we get uh, self position and other uh, colliders position other colliders uh, base node position and calculated force vector and uh, normalize the vector and uh, multiply the vector to uh, with 2000 uh, 200 and 1000 okay then apply the force to the other colliders body so let's save this and back to the scene I will remove these components because we edited the prefab itself. Here is explosion force. We already linked the bomb root here. Okay. So we need to keep this inactive. Save and save and close. Okay. Here we go. I will put this pump here and one more here. Maybe one more here. Okay, let's see if it works. Bombs are waiting for us. So I get close. Explode. But nothing happened. Why it doesn't work? Yes, I know. The problem is when we move the player, players, uh, player moves. But when we stop, player goes sleep mode. Here, if we un uh, if we don't uncheck this uh, box, it will sleep. And if uh, a collider sleeps, you cannot get any event from uh, sensor colliders. Let me visualize this for better understanding. I have a debug draw code here. Then you will see what's happening there. Let me run the game. <clears throat> As you can see, I hit the button and it walks. Then it sleeps. You can understand the sleep mode when it go blue. Okay, this is blue going blue again red blue again it sleeps uh, to save the cpu uh, power but when it sleeps here it doesn't uh, get any effect from our uh, force because uh, we didn't even calculate the explosion because explosion is uh, visible uh, becomes visible later and when it becomes visible and checks for calculation uh, collisions, we are uh, in sleep mode. So prevent sleeping to solve this problem. Uncheck this box. Okay, this is very important. So I say uh, it saved a lot of time until I find this. Okay, let's go here. As you can see, it doesn't sleep anymore. Okay. I will disable the bug draw here and <clears throat> replay. I'm getting close, waiting. Yeah, it's working now. Maybe we can try to keep here. Yeah. <laughs> They are also affecting each other. They all, all the time pushing left. So let's check some more details here. Yeah, 
We have another problem with the scene graph. This is also very, very important. I put these bombs here. Actually, it should be inside the canvas because we calculate everything based on these uh, local coordinates. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, as you can see, it, it now calculates correct way. Pushing up. Boom. Okay, guys, this is all for now. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to uh, comment below. So if you want to see more tutorials and uh, especially special subjects, don't hesitate to call me so I will uh, make tutorials for you. See you. Thank you. Bye.